Hi Aurora, this is uh, a quick test. I just want to go through, run through this step by step. I think I've discovered uh, possibly where you're going wrong. So I've got in my Google Chrome here, this is the hello sign. Um, if you haven't got that on your Google Chrome, you can just run and um, click, put in hello sign in the Google search. Um, and this should start up. And this is where I think the error is. You'll be clicking on just me here, and that's not right. What you need to do is you need to click on template and create the link so now this opens up and then what I've got uh, behind here is I've got my Windsor Hills document um, I'll just drop that across there and hopefully that will just I'll just do that again I think there we go, I'll try that again the Windsor Hills document comes in and you can see it's not asking for any email addresses here just wait that finishes for a second and then as we said we would just go ahead to type in owner click on where they need to sign the document should open up and then as we said before we would insert a text box and click on that feature owner's address and I'll type in there and this tick box is if it's required if it's compulsory or if it's optional Make that bigger so, they, so they can see that it says owner's Windsor Hills address. Get rid of that. And we want them to uh, write in there Stan Nelson, for example, as we said before. And it's compulsory. Just move that down a bit. And you would go down and fill the rest of it in. As we said before, I'll just put one more in. In fact, I'll go right to the bottom, put the signatures in the bottom there. There we are. We said we were going to put a yes no box there, didn't we? It's by the owner. And compulsory. And we want them to put their signature. Oops, not like that. We want them to put their signature in there. And we want them to type in their name there. And we want them to install the date there. Okay, uh, just click on continue. It jumps back here. We say we want to save it as proxy, for example, and create the link. Just takes a second. And there's the link that you would copy and paste into your email blast and you can see there it is there when I click on it here you can see I wanted to edit it I can do it there there's that link that we just created so that'd be as simple as just going to your uh, email and send it off just coincidentally if someone sends you a document emails it to your Gmail um, you've got this option there, I've just done the test one, I've sent it to myself. If I click on sign here, it would automatically fire up hello sign. Okay, that's what I can't really touch, but I've got it already open, that's fine. Um, but it would open up hello sign, and you can do the in, in document signing from there. Um, hopefully, that's going to help you. I think the only, only um, mistake that we're making is um, don't click on sign document, just me. You need to click on create document, create template, create link. And that's where you think we're going wrong. As you can see, it's not asking for an email address here. Let's try that. Okay, thanks. Bye.